Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Ryan DeRusso. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to try something a little bit new I've never done before. Uh, you may have seen this on the internet recently. It just started getting popular hydro painting or hydro dipping. A couple of different things that's called. I'm going to hydro paint my snare drum. So, um, this is a very cheap uh, snare drum. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad, but again, you know, it's pretty cheap. So, and it's all chromed out. Let me get the light here. It's chrome. It's really dusty right now, but, uh, I'm gonna take it all apart and um, try painting it, and you'll see the process. If you don't know what hydro dipping is, you'll see once I start. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart now. I have my snare tightened really, really tight. I like the head to be super tight on there. So this is gonna take a long time. I'm gonna speed it up right here because uh, you obviously you don't want to sit here for three hours while I take this apart. All right, so now you see I got uh, got this tote completely filled with water. Got my snare right over there. Got my paint here. I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, like I said, I don't really think this is gonna go well, but it might turn out really awesome. So you never know until you try. But All right, what's up guys? So that was take one. Um, as you can see, it's not came out that well. It came out kind of crappy because I'm not real good at doing this. I haven't been doing this for very long. Um, just experimenting a little bit, but I'm about to do my second try. I'm gonna dip it again and see uh, what we can come up with. Definitely looks cooler. Just got to add a little bit more to it. Let's see what we can do here. I'm about to do my uh, third dip. Um, should wait longer till it actually dries, but I'm really impatient and uh, I don't feel like waiting. So uh, that was the third dip. Um, looks pretty cool. Not like I was expecting it to look, but it still looks cool. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a few paint effects onto it and just do a little bit of stuff. And then I'll put the drum all back together and that's when you'll see it next. So uh, I'll see you in the next clip. All right guys, so here goes uh, the finished drum. Uh, if you're wondering where my color inspiration came from, the uh, my regular kit is black and gold already, so I wanted the snare to match the kit, obviously, and cyan, that blue color. Um, it's like my favorite color, so I wanted to throw a little bit of that in there too, and I'm gonna go walk around slowly around the whole kit. Um, it's a new camera, so I don't really know how to focus it too well, but um, I'm gonna try to get a good angle. Like I said, you know, there's imperfections on it. This ain't perfect. I'm not a professional painter, but I just wanted to make something look really awesome. And uh, and I like the turnout, so that's all that matters, really. You can see some mess-ups, but, uh, you know, oh well. If you see I, uh, where the screws go into, I change those black and gold back and forth. And... Um, yeah, I mean, this is my favorite part right there. It looks nice. And I, I really like this drum, so. I mean, that's pretty much about it. And you can do this at home. I mean, you can make cool combinations too. This ain't, this ain't too great, but it looks pretty awesome to me still, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
I also post drum covers, playing drums here to uh, various songs, and uh, if you'd like, you can subscribe. Put out videos weekly, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.